Hey there Aries, this is Renee and welcome back. Aries, we're going to take a look at how your person feels about you, what's going on in your relationship, um, give you more insight. Let's take a look. Let's jump right in. We're going to get your person's energy and we're going to get your energy. Okay, we have empathy. So your person may want you to see their point of view, their side of the story, okay? Um, I feel like with the situation, there's a lot going on and, you know, maybe you just need to see their point of view. For you, we have regrets. Now, be clear that sometimes these roles can reverse. So if you are the one needing that point of view and they are the one with the regrets, go ahead and take it how it resonates because the roles may be reversed here. Okay. Okay. Get these cards into view. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the tarot, see what's going on. We're going to pull how your person feels about you at this moment, um, how they see you, and where your relationship is going at the moment, and then we're going to pull your energy, okay? Um, we're going to see where this is going for you. Okay, the chariot, wow. Okay, their feelings for you are the queen of wands. That's how they see you, okay? And we have the queen of cups. So this is where the relationship is going. Beautiful. Okay, and your energy is the page of swords. Wow, so you're very curious about this person, Aries. You want to see where things are going to go next. You know, and your person is moving. They are moving in your direction. They are ready to, you know, follow your lead, follow your path, because they see you as the Queen of Wands. They see you as very attractive, very giving, a go-getter. You know, you're very busy and, you know, putting things into action. Okay, the direction your relationship is going is the queen of cups so i feel like your direction is going really in the right direction this is very loving very giving very supportive energy your person views this relationship as you know something to be lifted up something to be cherished and caressed so i really feel like your relationship is going just like you want it to and if it's not at this moment this is where it's headed okay but i feel like you have a lot of curiosity there may be a lot of things that you may not know about this person that you're a little bit more curious about you're curious about where this relationship is going you know what's ahead and you know, you're you're really looking into that information. You could be watching tarot a lot, thinking about your relationship and, you know, where this this relationship is going for you. But um, I feel like there's other things that you're doing, too. You may be taking a look at their social media or, you know, just being nosy in some aspect. Now, before you get all crazy. You know, these roles may be re reversed. So this may be your person's energy too, you know? Okay. So at the bottom, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like your relationship is blossoming. It's flourishing. It's ready to evolve to the next level. Okay, you just have to be patient and let things flow naturally. You know, don't try to force something to happen. Because your relationship is going to flourish the way you want it to, and you know, or the way it's supposed to by itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify these cards for uh, Aries. Okay, we're going to take a look at the chariot. What do we have for the chariots? Wow, the Knight of Pentacles. And with the Queen of Wands, we have the Five of Swords. 
Now look at this. For your relationship, we have the King of Cups. So this is a soulmate situation. We have two counterparts here. You guys were meant to be together. You know, and I, I feel like, you know, with this Five of Swords, it's nothing to worry about. Those are just struggles, okay? Those are just the daily things that we think about. At the bottom, we have this beautiful Queen of Wands. So you are standing on your throne. You are sitting at your throne more attractive more appealing more out to get whatever you desire and i feel like this person sees you as a go-getter they see you as someone fiery and passionate and just loving life okay so that is beautiful let's take a look at this let's see Okay, with the chariot card, we have the uh, knight of pentacles. So I feel like, you know, this person may be literally moving in with you. Or you may be literally moving in with this person. But they are moving in your direction, okay? And there's some kind of offer on the table. Some kind of gift that you're not seeing just yet. So they may offer you some kind of invitation, some kind of gift, some kind of offering of some sort that you are not expecting but i feel like you're going to be very happy with that because the pinnacles are are good news that's good news coming to you okay and how they see you they see you as a go-getter they see you as very attractive but they also see you as you know kind of doing too many things at once um i feel like you set yourself up for failure sometimes because you have so many priorities there's so many conflicts going on okay your schedule may be conflicted you know you may be trying to find time for your person so they kind of see you as not having as much time for them as they want you to okay but we where this relationship is going we have the queen of cups and the king of cups that is beautiful energy not only are they you know counterparts but they're also the same suit they're also very loving very supportive very nurturing and you know sometimes the king of cups he may have um he may have you may have trouble trying to figure out what he's feeling because he knows how to control those feelings very well. So I feel like your person may be able to control their excitement, their feelings, their passion very well. So it's kind of kind of hidden, leaving you very curious. Okay? So that may be the reason for that. Okay? What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get an angel number. Let's see we're going to end with an angel number for your person and see what you need to know. Well, matter of fact, well, let's get an outcome first. <clears throat> let's get an outcome for this reading. I was ahead of myself. I'm sorry, Aries. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. Wow. The Ace of Swords. And the Four of Swords. Beautiful. At the bottom we have the Emperor. So I feel like you and this person are taking control. You're kind of moving along and um, going with the flow of things. But I feel like things are kind of landing in your lap. You know, things are flowing just the way they're supposed to. Because I feel like both of you have the capability of taking control of the situation. Aries, this is your card. So I feel like you are standing out very strongly here. Okay? Um, beautiful energy. We have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like this person that you're dealing with is very loyal, very reliable, very stable. They also may have a good job. Um, and I also feel like with this Ace of Swords, I feel like things are, are going, you know, just as expected. But I feel like there are going to be things that you're going to learn about this person and what they're going to learn about you. It's going to, you, you're learning new things. This is learning new things and also a new beginning on things. Now, I feel like you're also going to be taking more time 
for yourself and for your partner. You know, you're going to be, you know, setting that priority to kind of put them first and, you know, give them more attention because I feel like more attention is what they want, Aries. Okay, so let's get an angel number. Let's see what angel number we have for you. Ooh, okay, we have 1919 transformation. It is asked that you take notice that you hold within your hands the power to change your life. Within this realization, you will feel your sense of purpose and your connection to new beginnings and your affirmation. I release what I no longer need to carry and I open myself to the transformation energy of the divine. So... 1919 you know if you've come to the end of this reading go ahead and put in there 1919 um transforming my love okay and if you want to read that affirmation to yourself or write it down i release what i no longer need to carry and i open myself to the transformative energy of the divine Okay, and I'm loving these angel numbers. These are beautiful cards. Very beautiful. Okay, so Aries, that is what I have for you. Now, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising and Venus sign in the March playlist. And until your next reading. Many blessings to you, love and light.